What happened to my house? Wait. Hold up. Did I just get a crate of soup? Wait. What just happened? Uh... Day one. Wait. What? Was I... I don't... I'm confused. I didn't even do the intro yet. I just started it up, and then it ended up like this. Is this from a playthrough I was about to do? All right, guys, I guess we're not gonna scavenge. We're just gonna jump right into it. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. Okay, before we start this off, guys, I just wanna let you guys know that I've been experimenting, just trying to go on different runs, seeing when I can get different parts. I've tried the regular mode with Dolores, and then I got a part. I tried it on Sarbama in the second episode with Ted, and I got a part. Now I'm playing as Ted, but I'm playing on the easiest difficulty. And not because I'm a little pussy boy. That may be the case. But I want to see if we can get a part if we're going to play on easy mode. So that's why I have a stack shelter right now because I'm playing on easy. So don't give me a hard time, guys. We're just trying to get a part here. So let's see what scenario we got. We actually just have some random notes. Okay. So everybody, please just, you know, put your hands together. And just please just hope that we get a part. Because I've been playing this off camera and I have gotten no new parts. I don't know why. And you know what? We're going to try to scavenge. And we're also going to try to get Mutant Mary Jane. And Pancake. Because I haven't seen him in the newest update of Reatomized. Timmy and Mary Jane are in need of some physical exercise. Letting them run outside in the wasteland seems a bit too adventurous, but they could play tag inside the shelter. It's not like we have any expensive vases or antique dishes down here to be broken. Should we let the kids play? Hell no! These guys are like bulls in a china shop. I remember that scenario. They break something. Like, these guys are clumsy as hell. Like, look at Mary Jane's face. She's begging to break something. There's simply not enough space around here for any activities. We can barely stretch without putting elbows in each other's eyes. Yeah, we don't want elbows in anybody's eyes. But what we do want, we want to send out Ted with that nice comb over. Send him out with the gas mask. Clasp our hands together. And Teddy boy, I'm begging you on my pink pepperoni nipples. Come back with something good. Oh yeah, and if you guys don't remember what the car looks like, see? It has like spikes and it has an ice cream cone on it and it just looks sexy, you know? It looks big and sexy and hunky. So, let's see what scenario we got here. Mary Jane didn't utter a single word today. This is very odd. Maybe someone should find out what's going on with her. Yeah, just have a little toxy poo you know? Just hit her with a, hey, what you doing? Just hit her with a you up text or something, anything. But she still looks like she's dazed and confused. And nothing solves problems better than an honest conversation over a hot beverage. We don't have the latter, but talking alone seems to do the trick. You know what we do have? We have some what's up and some soup for that ass. And spiders seem to be operating under the assumption that they all have the same rice to the shelter as we do. This is the mutant Mary Jane scenario. I didn't do anything last time and she didn't turn into mutant Mary Jane, but I swear, I swear to you guys that you're not supposed to do anything but let me just make sure. Let me look it up and make sure because I really want Mutant Mary Jane. Okay, guys, I'm not really getting a clear answer here. I could have sworn that you use the Scout Handbook and then she gets bitten and turns into a radioactive freak. But I am going to try the Bug Spray. No, I could have sworn it was the Scout Handbook and then she gets bitten. But I gave them that, right? Okay, so we're good. So I'm going to try the Scout Handbook again and please, Mutant Mary Jane. Come on, give it to me, girl. Give it to me, girl. No! Damn it! What happened? We always knew books were precious. They are the perfect weapon for waging total war on insectoids of any kind. Screw you. We got water. I don't really care, man. I want Mutant Mary Jane. That's all I ever cared about. We were never huge fans of mushrooms. I'm not a fan of that either. Come on. I'm mad now. I wanted Mutant Mary Jane and now I'm mad. Day 8. We ran out of songs, short poems you remember from school, and funny silent movie quotes. We decided we are just a step away from going insane. We have to do something or else we might start thinking about the virtues of a welfare state. Imagine that! What do we do? Use the gun, the radio, the cards, or the checkerboard. Nothing wrong with playing with little checkers, you know? Just red or white and just win. I don't even know how to play checkers. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I don't think I've ever played checkers with my friends ever. A game of checkers, a cup of coffee, and newspaper is all a 1950s man needs. 
There's no copy down here, and the paper boy probably got blown up. Yay, checkers! <laughs> Yay for checkers! Where the heck is Ted? And they can't sleep. They're gonna go batshit crazy if I don't give this to them. All right, here. Take it, you good for nothings. We might have needed that for something serious. Maybe you guys might have gotten asshole AIDS. But no, you need it because you can't sleep. You guys are so privileged, aren't you? But yeah, guys, we lost the med kit. And where the hell's Teddy Boy? It's been like eight days. And there's a telephone ringing. I don't really want to get a twin ending again. But whatever. Nah, you know what? We'll skip this ending. We don't really want the twin ending again. We'll get something new. And Ted's back. Day 11, and Teddy Boy is back. There's my guy with that stubble on his face. What did you bring back? He brought back soup, two waters, and he lost a gas mask. So since Ted didn't bring shit back, I'm gonna prepare to scavenge. And we've been wondering what happened to Uncle Brian. Uncle Brian sounds like a nasty, nasty man. He probably has butthole aids. Somebody in this family has butthole aids. I think it's him. But anyway, guys, no more talking about that. We are going to send out the MVP Timmy because he got the little afro. Every time he has the afro, he always comes up with some clutch items. And that's what we need today. We need something real clutch, you know? Just like close your fist into a ball and you just need something like that. You know, that energy. Day 13. Whoever designed this fallout shelter was a genius, but we can't really tell if that green stuff dripping from the pipe is an included feature. We should probably try doing something about it with whatever we brought down here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's green stuff dripping from the pipe. I think this is how Mutant Mary Jane comes about too. I'm not actually going to do anything. I'm going to let that green goo just drip on their faces like this. And let's see what happens. Mew and Mary Jane? No! What? You guys all still look like freaks! What happened? We couldn't figure it out, so we just assumed that's what a regular pipe would do in the event of a nuclear apocalypse and decided to ignore it. We've been feeling a bit funny today, though. Probably no connection to the pipe, none whatsoever. There you go. They're feeling a little bit funny, guys. Oh, man, I'm so excited. Dolores has not been very talkative. She never looks talkative. Look at that resting bitch face. When has she ever said anything? I don't think that she's ever smiled the whole time I've been playing this game. But it's day 15. No more talking about smiling. We just gotta keep living. And we also gotta keep giving water and soup because that's just what we do. And I think this is gonna be the military ending. Let's get it started. But they're feeling funny. So maybe one of them might turn into a mutant. And when I say one of them, I mean Mutant Mary Jane. Come on, Mary Jane. You gotta turn into an ugly freak for me. Today during breakfast, we were startled when our map slid off the wall. We checked the nails holding it, but they were all firmly in place. It could be a poltergeist. Maybe we need to perform an exorcism to get rid of it. Anyway, in the wall behind the map, we discovered some sort of safe. We're curious as to what treasure might be inside. Should we open it? Absolutely. freaking lootly The safe has never done me wrong. You're safe when you open that safe. Remember that, guys. Remember that tip from your old pal, Jay. What did we get, though? I think we got more soup. Yes, we got more soup. And it's day 18. Nobody gets anything. And Ted and Mary Jane have been butting heads lately. Today, they got into an argument about movie characters. Specifically, who would win in the ultimate battle? Snow White, Seven Dwarves, or a group of Wasteland Bandits? It's a tricky one for sure. And the debate is heated. Who will come out on top? Uh, you know what? We're gonna go with Mary Jane, because maybe she'll be so happy that she turns into a freak. And speaking of freaks, Afro Timmy is back. Timmy brought back four soup and one water. This kid, man. This kid is unfreaking believable I love this guy. Claustrophobia is difficult to fight against, especially in a little cluttered bunker. Maybe if we could open the door for just a few minutes, let some air in? Hell no. They're all gonna get sick if I do that. They're all gonna get nasty, nasty sick. Day 24. Today, the music from the radio stopped abruptly, and instead we got to listen to a transmission from the army. We were almost halfway to the door when they started talking about evacuation, but it turns out there is something we need to do first. All survivors were asked to leave a sign that we're alive somewhere in the area. The exact location was given in geographical coordinates. We need a map to establish where that is. Well, looky here. We have a map so we can find out exactly where to go. And Dolores came back on day 25, what a time to be alive, and she's sick. She looking nasty as hell. What did she bring back? Two soup and her flat ass butt cheeks. Okay, whatever. Whatever! You know, I'm just gonna prepare to scavenge again. And a sleazy looking trader carrying an equally scruffy bag. Okay, so this is the cat scenario. Should I try to get a cat ending? Nah, not right now. I think we're good for now. Because Ted's allergic to cats. 
I don't want anyone else sick. Day 30. We could use some extra supplies. The last time we went on a supply run, we noticed a damaged tank stuck in the rubble nearby. How about we send someone to investigate? You know what, Timmy? Afro Timmy, you have never done me wrong. So I think that you're gonna come back and give me the good stuff, aren't you? See? He came back, and did he give me the good stuff? He brought back ammo, aka the good stuff. Ammo is also the good stuff. And there's a phone call. Stop freaking calling me! And we finally got a good look at the vehicle down the street. An ice cream truck. Yes! No wheels, but it was reinforced with wooden spikes. But where were the weapons? That kind of vehicle needs a weapon. Let's get out there with some equipment and find something fitting. Okay, we got a map and we have a padlock. I'm gonna choose the map, guys. Hopefully I did it right. Because maybe there might be some, like, laser beams if we use the padlock. Let me see what I got. Come on. Give me something good, baby. Just one time for me. Looking at the map gave us an idea. We visited a centuries-old battlefield on the outskirts of town and pushed an antique cannon all the way back to the vehicle we found. Yes! The map somehow got all torn up in the process, but our project looks truly majestic. Okay. Oh, oh that. my god, that is sexy. That makes me as hard as that cannon right now. Yes! Okay, so we have a seat right here and then a cannon on top so we could just sit there and go... Time to die, partner. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, we got spikes, we got a cannon, we got a seat. Now we just need some wheels. So that's pretty much what I wanted to do for today's episode was at least get one more part for the truck. Now let's try to get the hell out of here, guys. Nobody can actually go scavenge, so boo freaking who? Oh my god, Ted died. Uh-oh, well, we still have Dolores. It doesn't even say anything here, guys. It just shows Ted with an X on his face. That's how much he sucks. He doesn't even get kind words. Open in the name of freedom, came a shout from outside our door. We weren't sure who claimed to be representing freedom, but we could hear it was a group of people probably armed. Anyone who introduces themselves like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom. Should we open? You know what? Actually, wait. We have a shitload of stuff. But we gotta open in the name of freedom. I'm just happy that we got the cannon on top of the ice cream truck. But let's see what happened here. They didn't rob us, I think. I think they gave us a gun. Yeah, they did. They're nice guys. They're swell dudes. They're groovy dudes. The end. Oh, no. That means Dolores died. Damn it. Yup, Dolores died. Okay, guys. Um, You know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to try to get one more part. And I just realized that I lost on the easiest difficulty. Man, I suck balls. But that's not even my fault, though. We never got a med kit. Like, give your boy a freaking med kit, like a band-aid or something for my boo-boo. Something! But if we got the cannon still, I'm gonna be very happy we got the cannon. We got the cannon. That got me rock hard right now. So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna go on one more run. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. Hopefully we can get at least one more part. So here we go. All right, guys, here we go. Another run, and on day 31, it says, our previous expeditions reported a strange vehicle nearby, and the last trip to the surface confirmed this discovery. It's an armored and weaponized ice cream truck. No wheels, no gas, just wasting away out there. How about we turn it into an art project? Okay, so they said no wheels, no gas, and it's just wasting away out there. So at least we know right now that we're gonna need at least wheels and gas. So two more items. We only have the gun right now, but we could have used a suitcase and bug spray scenario. But let's see what we get if we have the rifle. Maybe there's just like so many different things we can put on the car. That we gotta do like 10 runs to like get this thing all together. But let's see what we got. We got an American flag. Hold on, let's see what that said. We stormed the local decoration store, shouting battle cries and shooting wildly, at least until the rifle jammed. We found all the American flags and banners we could ever ask for. This vehicle could lead a 4th of July parade or something. If it had wheels, that is. Okay, so we still gotta find wheels. We still gotta find wheels, and we probably have to find gas. So this is what it's come to, sitting idly in the shelter with very few supplies and growing sense of impending doom. If only there was something we could do about it, like breaking into our neighbor's shelter. We know the lock is broken, and we saw her restocking the shelter before the bomb fell. Should we go and check it out? She and her children probably didn't even make it in there, right? You know what? Even if they're in there, fuck them kids! We need those supplies right here, right now, so give them to me! I don't care about those kids. I care about me. Four cans of soup. Forget those kids. You guys already know what I do. Alarm. There is a group of people outside and they don't seem too friendly. We recognize some of them. They used to be in our neighborhood watch. They don't sound too concerned with the well-being of the neighborhood anymore. But they are very serious about angrily waving their heavy flashlights. Oh no. Not the heavy flashlights. Let's keep the bunker locked. 
you know? Just be like, go away! Leave us alone! And then, you know, if we bitch and moan like that, they'll eventually go away, you know? That's the strat. That's what we do. So let's give them some of this. Nobody's going outside. And the army started broadcasting again. They want survivors to meet them for a meeting. Okay, Mary Jane, you know what? You're looking wacky as hell. Maybe you'll scare them into rescuing us or something. We managed to make it to the meeting in time. We tried our best to answer the questions the soldiers asked us. Let's hope we fulfilled their expectations and our ragged appearance didn't make a bad impression. I'm pretty sure it did, but you know what? I don't even care right now. All I care about is Ted and Mary Jane have been butting heads lately? No, I don't care about that. You know what, Mary Jane? You're gonna be right. Day 44. Today was an exciting day for Ted. All of a sudden, he found car keys in his back pocket. Has he been sitting on them this whole time? Anyway, it got him reminiscing about his favorite automobile, and now he's worried about it being parked up for too long. Something tells us it's the least of its trouble at the moment, but Ted seems really eager to go out and turn the engine over. Maybe we can take out the engine, put it inside the ice cream truck, or at least do something for the ice cream truck, please. What the hell just happened? Where is everybody? Since Ted doesn't remember where he last parked the car, this could take a while. Oh, okay. So he's gonna look for the car. Where's Mary Jane? Oh, Mary Jane died? I wish I felt bad, but I kind of expected her to leave for some reason. It seems whoever it was, they met their end. After a series of terrifying screams, the radio fell silent. Just before that, a distressed woman recited her full name and address she used to live in our town. Should we take a hike to her house and find out if she left anything of value? Yes! Hell yes! Capital hell! The devil would love that! Because I love that! Dawkins Residence? Okay, we got the Dawkins Residence Achievement. That means we went there and got two cans of soup. Yeah, baby. And a sleazy looking trader. You know what? I'm a sleazy looking trader. It's been a few days since Ted went to look for his car. We're getting really worried now, especially since there have been loud thuds and shouting coming from above. Maybe he got into some trouble? Should we take a peek outside? I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a game over because I think raiders are up there. But let's see. No? Day 48? Okay, so we're still alive. And Ted's back! Yeah, Teddy boy! Ted found something, all right, but it wasn't his car. He stumbled upon a barbecue party at our neighbor's burned down lawn. We recognized some faces in the small crowd of party goers, but they all looked a bit peculiar. Gas masks, goggles, spikes, and a lot of leather everywhere. Was this a costume party? Anyway, we found Ted passed out in a ditch near our shelter, smelling strongly of tomato and alcohol. So, tomato liquor? Sure, whatever floats your boat. But it's only day 48, so nobody's getting anything, and time to listen to some radio chatter. I guess we can only get one car part for the ice cream truck per run. I thought we were gonna get two, but, you know, maybe I was just trying to be spoiled a little bit. Oh, oh my, my god, guy. Ted died. Why? Oh, too many days without water. My bad, dude. My bad, Ted. Yikes. And now there's some bandits here. Okay. Axe that. Axe that real quick. You know, just get a little choppy choppy, a little slicey slicey. I forgot to give Ted some freaking water. I'm so sorry, dude. The freaking skin off his face just melted off. He's already skeleton. And what we initially thought was thunder turned out to be heavy knocking on the door. That's the military. Okay. Hands in the air like I just don't care because we got rescued by the military. Let's go! Good job, Dolores. She's the only remaining survivor, but we got a good ending anyway. Okay, guys, this was a great episode because we got a cannon. We got a bunch of flags on top of our ice cream truck. I'm thinking that we probably need just like two more items, which are the wheels and the gas, but we might need something else. I don't know what we're gonna need, but as you guys can see on the car right there, we got some flags covering the windows, the cannon, the spikes. We don't have wheels and we don't have gas. So I'm assuming that we at least need two more things. We're going to try to figure that out in the next episode. But if you guys want to see that episode as soon as possible, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!